These videos are educational in nature and are designed to help people over 21 who smoke cigarettes switch to a less harmful alternative. <clears throat> All right. Well, what's up, everybody? Yeah, it's Grim Green back here today. And I wanted to talk about nicotine pouches with Zinn being in the headlines because Blumenthal, Blumenthal wants to ban Zins and Schumer wants to ban Zins and Dick Durbin wants to ban Zins. And why does everybody want to ban Zins? Zins are, of course, Zinn nicotine pouches. And I have been using nicotine pouches almost as long long as I've been using vaping to not smoke cigarettes. In fact, going from smoking combustible cigarettes to a Zen nicotine pouch is as big of a harm reduction measure as going from smoking cigarettes to a vape or going from smoking cigarettes to nothing. Maybe not to completely nothing, but the point is it's a tremendous, tremendous harm reduction measure. There's what people call a spectrum of harm or a continuum of risk that exists with tobacco products, with cigarettes and cigars being at, you know, the combustible most harmful end of the spectrum. And then literally everything else, things like heat, not burn. So ICOS, things like electronic cigarettes and vaping, things like snooze and things like nicotine pouches are a tremendous, tremendous harm reduction measure. The very, very first nicotine pouches I ever bought in my life were camel snooses and they were fine. I needed them for a plane flight and I just bought them and used them and they worked perfectly. And ever since then, I've been stoked on nicotine pouches and I use nicotine pouches all the time. But Zen is not the only game in town. In fact, there's, in my opinion, some superior nicotine pouches to Zen out there. So I'm going to talk about roughly five of my alternative nicotine pouches to Zen that I like using a lot. The first one is just going to be good old fashioned general brand snooze. General is the brand of the snooze and this brand of snooze has an MRTP designation in the United States of America, which means it's a modified risk tobacco product, which means FDA has said that general snooze Snooze is less harmful than smoking tobacco cigarettes. This is harm reduction. It is snooze and it is spectacular. And the reason why snooze is a harm reduction measure, even though it is still tobacco, is because this tobacco is pasteurized, which is why we often find snooze being sold in stores like actual tobacco snooze being sold in stores and convenience stores, generally in a refrigerated device, like a refrigeration unit. When it's not being used, I keep my snooze in the fridge. This flavor, this traditional extra strong tobacco, not my favorite. It smells like tobacco. It tastes like tobacco. It burns like tobacco. Anything with mint, the wintergreen snooze, leaps and bounds better. General snooze should be available literally everywhere a Zin pouch is available. This is a brand called Hit that I picked up in the UK. It's actually an import from Sweden, but this right here is a traditional nicotine pouch in that it does not actually contain any tobacco at all. In fact, almost the rest of them that I'm going to be talking about today don't have any tobacco in them. This Hit is supposed to be Dr. Pepper flavored, and that's why I bought it because I'd never seen a snooze or a nicotine pouch with anything other than very basic like mint, peppermint type of flavors. Occasionally from some different brands, we might see like a fruity flavor or like a citrus flavor sometimes. Never Dr. Pepper. And I got to tell you, this kind of tastes like Dr. Pepper. Let's pop one. They smell like Dr. Pepper. That's the most disturbing part. They actually don't smell completely like Dr. Pepper. They smell like Dr. Pepper. Like if Dr. Pepper made a lotion, <laughs> this tastes like Dr. Pepper lotion. It's fine. It's sweet. Once it really gets going, it's kind of a unique experience as, you know, as opposed to all of like the menthol and mint and peppermint that I usually have. It's a nice change of pace. Now, the next one I'm going to mention, I don't even have an example of it because I've used them all and it's not going to appeal to a lot of people because what most people, including myself, generally like to do with vaping and nicotine pouches is to get away from big tobacco. I don't make it a point to buy camel snooze all that often because it is a big tobacco product, but I have to give credit where credit is due because Skull, the brand Skull, makes a wintergreen snooze pouch that could be one of my favorite domestic snooze pouches. I got, I really wish I had an example and I apologize that I don't, but they're a little bit bigger, a little bit thicker and a little bit, you know, 
pillowier. They're, they're packed a little bit bigger than most other snooze pouches, and I really, really very like them. Again, I try not to buy products from Big Tobacco. I try to get away from products from Big Tobacco, but in a pinch, a skull or a camel snooze, honestly, real good. Uh, the Rogue, six milligram peppermint, slaps just slaps. It is a really very nice, sweet peppermint. Six milligram is about as high as I want to go with most snooses. If most snooses or nicotine patches tell me the nicotine level on them, I'll generally go for like a six milligram. Six milligram is still pretty strong in the snooze pouch world, but it's not going to be overwhelming like some other snooses when I buy just straight up general snooze in the wintergreen or the regular or whatever. It's not like a milligram content, it's just snooze. So I'm just getting bombarded with nicotine, which sometimes getting bombarded with nicotine, if I'm not desiring it or if I'm not expecting it, can kind of kind of have a bit of like a negative experience. And that's why I do kind of like the ones that do have like nicotine, six milligram on here. I need kind of need to know what I'm getting sometimes. This It really tastes like Dr. Pepper lotion. The last one I'm going to talk about and probably my favorite from the bunch is this company called White Fox. This is another product of Sweden and these are just nicotine pouches. These don't have any actual tobacco into them. These white foxes do kind of tell me how strong they are, but there's no standardization in the world of snooze or nicotine pouches. So Rogue might say six milligram, but iFox gives me a five out of eight strength level, the maximum being eight, the lowest obviously being one. This is a five out of eight, which is, I don't know, that's kind of just a weird weird scale, but I kind of get it. All I had to do was try one, feel the sensations, feel the nicotine and go, okay, now I know that's a baseline. This is a five out of eight. Both of these, in fact, the double mint, which is delicious, but I think my favorite is the peppered mint. And I originally bought it because the name just sounded so funny. I thought, well, that's probably peppermint, but they called it peppered mint. And I just think that's funny. And sometimes I vape while I have a snooze pouch in. It's no big deal. I've been using snooze and nicotine pouches as long as I've been vaping. And at the end of my videos, when I say there's a world of safer nicotine products out on the market, nicotine pouches are absolutely definitely included in there. I think we should use every tool that we have in the arsenal to get someone who smokes cigarettes to not smoke cigarettes, whether that's a vaping, whether that's a snooze, whether that's a Zen, whether that's a white fox, five bear claws out of eight peppered mint nicotine pouch. Now, obviously I can't tell you where to get these and I, and I certainly can't tell you how much they cost, but I can tell you this, if you're someone who smokes cigarettes, it's time to switch. Better living through science, better living through technology. There is a world of safer nicotine products out on the market. You don't have to smoke cigarettes anymore to get nicotine. It's literally never been easier. I believe in you. In the description of this video, I'm going to put links to only science and only education, including some science and education about nicotine pouches. This has been a Grim Green video with White Fox. Let's stay cigarette smoke free literally every single day. <coughs> it's like 10.30 and I'm uh, just gonna smoke, so 